Greetings, friends. This is Raymond Mayfield, and thank you so much for tuning in this broadcast today. I appreciate you so much, and uh, I love coming to you and sharing the good news of the gospel. This is the greatest book that I have in my hand, the Lie of the Bible. It has inspired me through the years, and I live by that Word of God. I want to talk to you from the 91st chapter of Psalms. We believe this, uh, many scholars, as far as I'm concerned, as I listen to, attribute this uh, 91st chapter to Moses. Also, the 90th chapter was uh, uh, written by Moses. This was in the latter part of Israel's trip to the Promised Land, and it's believed it's written about that time. And it talks about a secret place in the 91st chapter of Psalms. He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the mighty. Now, there is a place in God that not all of us find, very few find as a matter of fact, that's that secret place that dwells in that secret place of God, that real place of anointing. That's kind of like going into the holiest of holies and approaching the mercy seat and the cherubims that are all around and watching the glory of God inside there, we're dwelling in that secret place of the Most High. If you want to really get somewhere with God, this is a good way to get in a secret place with God and dwell with Him. And the Bible says that he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. You can rest assured that the Almighty is there and His shadow will be up on us Everything we do and everywhere we go, His blessings will be up on us if we'll trust in Him with all of our heart. This is a great chapter I'm talking about. And the writer says, Moses says, I will say of the Lord. He's not saying if you will say of the Lord. He said, I'm say of the Lord. He is my refuge and He is my fortress, my God, in whom will I trust. Yes, he is a refuge in the time of storm. He is a mighty fortress that will protect us against the enemy's attack. Verse 3 said, Surely he will cover you, and surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the noiseless pestilence. You know, we're facing the enemy today. One of the biggest things we've got going on is the enemy is the devil and Satan that fights us every step of the way. Don't forget, friends, that out every step that you take with God, the old enemy is trying to destroy you and try to defeat you. Don't allow that to happen. And let your life be sounded in the things of God so you'll be blessed. And that noise, this pestilence, is talking about plagues uh, that can happen up on the people. You know, we're going through a plague right now in America, a plague that seemed like a coronavirus never seems to go away. When we trust in the Lord, He'll deliver us from all these things. Are you glad we'll be delivered from it? Now, that doesn't mean we not, might all of your, a lot of you are suffering from this right now. But folks, I want to tell you, we're victorious in Jesus. If we'll find that secret place in God, He'll help us to be through every storm. And then it says in verse 4, He shall cover us with His feathers or pinions. And that's mighty to think that God would cover us and we would be like little chickens. He would cover us. And I thank God for that today. Praise God. He will cover us. And under his wings shall we trust. Uh, his truth shall be our shield and buckler. Folks, I want to tell you everything about God is truth. And we need to know that God is our shield uh, and, our, and a buckler in the time of storms. And then it says, Thou shall not be afraid in verse number five for the terror by night. There's a lot of crime that's committed during the night and a lot of things that, uh, that people are afraid of. Sometimes they fear the darkness and what might happen after dark because many crimes are committed like that. But we do, can't live in fear. We have to walk in faith by God every day that God's going to take care of us. And when we're under the shadow of His wings, we trust in Him all the time. And praise the Lord for that. Nor for the pestilence, verse 6, that walketh in the darkness nor for the destruction that walketh at noonday. Whatever the problem is goes on during day and night, the storms that come, God will protect us. And, and it's just like, uh, it's just like some people that waited there in the temple for Jesus to be born. 
It was Simeon and Anna. They were waited right there. They found that secret place in God. They were not going to leave uh, that secret place right there until they found out that Jesus Christ was going to be there and they could hold him in their hands and bless him. Oh, that's a wonderful thing to think about. I want to close with this one other verse and says in verse 11, For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways, not some of your ways, but all your ways. The angels will give us charge. That he will give charge over angels. Some people think maybe they've got a guardian angel. I think we've got a lot more than that. We've got all the angels all around us. We never can see exactly what goes on. If we could see what was going on behind the scene, we'd be amazed on how many times God has protected us and been with us. I thank you so much for listening to this broadcast today. And may you walk with God. If you're not saved, this would be a good day to ask Jesus Christ to come into your heart and give your life to Him. He has answered every problem and every need. Jesus is the only solution to the situation that's going on in America today. I appreciate you pushing that like and commenting if you like this video. And I thank you so much for listening today. God bless you.